Now, as I said before, that there are four distinct stages uh, of a secure transaction. The first is the creation of the security interest. The second is uh, the attachment of the security interest to the collateral. And the third is perfection. Now, what is perfected is security interest. Again, it is very important to keep in mind that it is not the security agreement which is perfected. It is not the secure transaction which is perfected. It is the security interest that is perfected. Now, perfection means that you give some kind of public notice that the property has been subject to an external interest. Now, the most uh, important way and the one that is widely used is the method of uh, announcing your security interest uh, in some public record uh, of the so-called filing of a, a financing statement. So it is not the finance statement, it is the financing statement. And this is uh, a notice to the public. It's a form that you fill in, either physically or electronically, uh, and name the debtor, the secured party, and the collateral. And this record is available to the public, to future lenders and buyers of the collateral. And they can determine that whether a piece of property which is being offered as security or which is being sold, is it free of uh, uh, security interests uh, uh, in prior transactions? So the public record uh, will reveal to the future lenders and buyers whether the collateral that they are uh, buying or they are um, you know, using a security in a secure transaction is free of prior security interests. So perfection, even though it is done by giving public notice through a financing statement, uh, law recognizes uh, other methods of perfection as well. Uh, the second most important and perhaps older than the public records is possession. In fact, common law only recognize possessory security interests and thought that non-possessory security interests were fraudulent. Uh, so filing in public record and possession are the two important uh, methods of perfection of security interest. Uh, of course, there is automatic perfection and uh, then there is um, uh, another method which may be called control, which is um, similar to possession, but it applies to a non-possessable or intangible property. Like you can control deposit account, you cannot possess deposit account. Uh, so in that sense, uh, control and possession, even though they serve the same purpose, but uh, they apply to to the type of property, whether it is tangible or intangible.